Hi, this is David Burton with David Burton Ministries. I'm glad you're watching this. I am sitting with a friend that I've known for a number of years, uh, but this week I've gotten to know him real, real well. I'm in revival with him in Cross North, North Carolina, First Baptist Church, Pastor Phil Murdoch. And I've asked him just to speak into your heart about revivals and about what God has done this week in preparation as well as what's actually happened. It's been awesome. So, Brother Phil... Greetings, brother. God bless you. Share with the folks. Hi, David. I, I want to share with everybody, uh, if you will, just a few moments, because when, uh, when we decided to have revival, God laid it on our heart. God laid David Burton Ministries on our heart to, uh, to, to, get, to get David and David to come. So we needed, we needed to do something, something special, because this was a special time, and it's a special time in the life of our, of our people. So we prepared... First of all, we prepared, thought we, we better prepare our people, and this is exactly what we did. So we uh, took this little uh, little pamphlet here that we made up, and this is a heart-searching uh, folder here that we made for uh, for our prayer and preparation of personal revival, trying to get our people personally excited about revival and personally prepared for revival. And we understood that uh, according to, we took chapter uh, 7 and verse 14 of Second Chronicles very, very serious. And we uh, really believe what God said, so we brought our people to prayer. And if there's one thing, this has been such a successful week, and it's not been because of as good as Brother David is, uh, uh, and he is excellent, excellent. I would, I would, I would advise anyone to, to consider David Burton Ministries, and that's not just a plug. That's a, that's a promise that he, he'll do you a great job. But, but uh, in, in order to do that, we, we, we. We want to emphasize that the greatest thing I feel like that that, that was done to accomplish uh, what we, has been accomplished here is we brought our people to prayer. Our people got serious about personal revival, about personal getting their, themselves in a position where they, that they could listen to God and and uh, do what God's will. So they was hungry. They were hungry for revival when Brother David came, and and they were hungry because they'd been talking to God. And they've been in God's word. And so I think that's a very, the most important thing is getting our people ready. The revival preparation is, is as much as important as the week of revival itself. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, getting the right person and getting, the, getting, God's, getting God involved in the, in the entire thing. So I've been excited. I am excited. It's not just what happens inside the church that has made revival. It's what's happened outside and in the lives of our people and and uh, that's one thing I can say about Brother David. He, it's certainly different from the revivals that we've had in the past year at First Baptist. And, uh, but it, it's been so refreshing for our people because instead of just being revived inside the four walls, what I've experienced this week is our people has experienced revival and they've taken it outside the four walls like revival is meant to be. Good. And, uh, and it's something that somebody asked me last night, said, when will revival be over and I told them I said well brother David's going to be leaving tomorrow night but it's not going to be over for until Jesus comes Amen. and that's what this revival has done and it's done that it's been that way because again because people have prepared themselves because we prayed we've taken it to God we got the right person and it's all just worked out so good I'm so Amen. glad just to be just to be a part of what God is doing here. Thank you your, so much, Brother David. Yeah, and your your people were awesome in inviting people. I mean, there was just a they buzz were. in town of them inviting people, and that was a key that, too, not this in just for us. We want friends and coworkers exactly. and leadership in the community to come. Mm -hmm. I was so excited about that because uh, it was really surprising in the past. We have not, we've not, I've not experienced that. This time, people were ready for revival, and you got them pumped up on Sunday morning mm -hmm. and. And Tell them what said, we did on Sunday morning, and this is this is key, I think, to what we did all it week. Is, it is, it is, and each time the, the way you shared the gospel and, mm -hmm. and taught us how that we can share our faith that is that is the ultimate. Purpose. And we took Sunday morning Bible study mm -hmm. hour to do that, mm -hmm. and then that just kind of set the stage for the rest of the week and exactly. every message and every invitation. Really. Exactly. Yeah. I would advise. I would advise. Uh, uh, Everybody that's going to be having a revival. This is a great thing to do. We we took our nine o'clock uh, nine o'clock. We met in our fellowship uh, area, and um, we had breakfast together. We met. Everyone could meet Brother David, and we all met together. We had prayer there, and then we took our Sunday school hour and just had one huge Sunday school, including our youth. And uh, so we went to our Sunday school, and he 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 brought us a 
uh, a great lesson on just how to share our faith. It was so exciting, and I think it was a key, matter of fact, mm-hmm. to the entire yeah, I do too. week. I and mean, the promotion you did around town, they had um, like real estate signs yeah. made up, those size signs, uh, or political signs made up, right. advertising revival all exactly. over all over town, all exactly. the, you know, every corner exactly. around. It was, it was amazing. Exactly. So just getting word out is so important. Let people know something is happening exactly. at the church, you know. And, and not just something, it was something different yeah. that was happening. Yeah. Uh, and, and a lot of folks came because of those, yeah. because of that. And then that, in, 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 along with our people, they knew that something was happening down here that was exciting, yeah. and we had people come. Well, I tell you, it has just been, it's just been great, and uh, knowing guys like this and having a passion for revival. You know, revival is for the church, mm-hmm. to revive the church, but also to be able to share the gospel. Uh, to preach the gospel, teach the gospel, and then to see the people doing that as well. Uh, every night we've had a lot of people to come up to us asking us for more gospel tracks. Yeah. We call them the invite cards. It's a life death card. It's a little orange, uh, the orange tracks that 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 many of you have seen and we've used. But this little track is a way to get into a conversation, inviting someone to come to the come to the the crusade, come to the revival, come to the special event you might be having in your church. But mm-hmm. Uh, this little card is a great invite card. It gets people into a conversation about and Brother Christ. David. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for sharing what you did with our young, with our young people and with our children mm-hmm. about what they could do mm-hmm. in schools. Mm-hmm. And uh, we know about little Mason, uh, one of our fourth grade uh, <laughs> students, took those cards and he took a stack of those cards. And in his class in school, he would take those cards and he got up in in church, I mean in uh, school, in his classroom, and he gave every person in in the class. Thank you, man. And he told them about this little card, a life and death card. And his teacher came back telling us what had happened, what had, what he had done. Yeah. It meant so much to the teacher and so much to the students. And yeah. it's just been, it's just really uh, revolutionized their and school. And then the high things. school students uh, have been coming up, getting the cards. I shared right. with them last night from the pulpit. Right. I probably took 10 minutes of the message last night. I had all the young people, junior high and high schoolers stand up, and there was a, a lot of folks out there standing. Right. And I really challenged them as students uh, to be mm-hmm. bold on campus, sharing mm-hmm. with them many of the things they can and they have the legal right to do on campus, mm-hmm. which if you've been following my tweets and Facebook and YouTube, uh, you've been following uh, the information I'm giving on the legal rights that a young person has on campus. Well, tonight we've got a big youth night here at the church, and I'm looking forward to seeing how many is going to be here. And uh, again, challenging them to stand for Christ like never before. Well, Pastor Phil, thank, thank you. you. Thank it's you been awesome. Much. And uh, I just thank God. There have been people praying for this revival uh, who follow me on social media. And uh, your prayers have worked just as they did locally right here as this church prepared well. So thank you again. God bless you for your prayers and your support.